Hello explorers and welcome to another video. Today we are going to talk about code combat. And code combat is first off a very cool way to learn how to code and write in a specific language. And it's mostly to junior developers and people that are starting out. I have tried it on my son and he thinks that it's really fun a way to learn about coding and also learn the different aspects about coding. Um, it's at the moment in English and translated to some languages. It's partially translated to Swedish and I'm trying to help out there and translate it even more. Because if we switch over here, you see that Code Combat is available on GitHub. The specific uh, maps that you can play in Code of Combat is not available on GitHub. Those are part is a part of the Code of Combat um, uh, li license. So if you are used the game or play the game, those are their maps. They own the maps. But the engine is free and everything around is free. Translations are free and you can help out in this project if you want. So if we go over to their site here, so this is an engaging way to learn computer science. And you can either be here as a teacher or somebody that is a teacher leader or something that is looking for a good way to set up a program for your students. Or you can be a parent like myself and help your kid learn programming and create an account for your kid. Or you can be a student, but then you're not allowed to actually create an account. You can join a class, but you can't create your own account with your email and so on. So, but you can play it for free, but you will not save your progress. So this is the game. And here you can subscribe to get even more out of your game. Uh, but uh, I'm not going to do that now. We're going to look at... So if we go in here, you see that you start on level, uh, the first level here. If you click on that and play, it will ask you who is your hero. And if you haven't subscribed, so you pay for the service, you will not be able to... Uh, uh, choose any hero that you like at the start you have four different heroes that you can choose from so i will choose this uh, girl here and or woman and uh, here we have some languages i can learn i can learn python javascript coffeescript or c plus plus and depending on which language it is it's more or less complete and that's where you might come in to help out and actually solve the completeness of the game so that all the different challenges are translated for different uh, languages or if you have a kid that want to learn programming you can uh, help them out here so i started with python and i think it's a pretty good uh, first learning language. So if we go next here, we actually get some equipment. So this is a little bit of an RPG. So I can equip my shoes here and that will give me some specific functions here. So the skills that are granted here is moving down, left, right and up. So now I can move around. That's the skills I get with these uh, footwear. So if we start playing here, we have this map here and the goal is to end up where the last gem is and here you can see that i want to grab that so i get some instructions on what to do you can use the methods you type your code on the right and then uh, the character goes so let's see here we type in hero and you get this Syntax help so you can actually choose the different functions that you want to do So I want to move down and then I want to move right and then I can run this application And she runs through the dungeon and everything is done We succeeded with all our goals and we get some experience points We get some of these gems and we also get a leather belt So let's continue here and go to the next level 
and if we have this leather belt here it gives us some more health so not all of these give you actually functions so you can do more things some of them are just giving you health so you can survive better and then you will learn that you can move down and up and up again and right and down oh perhaps down was not required there perhaps i just need to do that and i was done so now i've solved the second one i will go through a few of these and do it pretty fast um so now i actually have some gems here so i have 53 gems so i can actually buy something that gives us a little bit more health here so i get that and as a kid it's fun, fun to actually um, equip your character and, and figure out uh, what you can buy and so on so manage gems and here we have a little bit of a more challenge we don't want to be seen by this ogre here so we need to move around the ogre and this is something that comes pretty naturally if you are looking at the map it took a while for my son to actually figure this one out he had to think about it he solved it on the first try but he had to look at the map and think about the solution and that's a very important part of programming skills to actually think about the solution and have something in mind before you actually try it out and so we go to the next map here now we have this uh, sword here that gives on us an attack but it's limited it's restricted so so far i can't have it on this level so we continue and now we learn how we can use specific arguments to our code here so we see now the hero moves right here three steps and then we can say hero move uh, up let's see we switch over here to that again so we can actually see it hero move up hero move right and then we need to go three down so hero down and put a three there hero right and three and you could solve this without doing the argument but then you will not get all the gems because you the challenge is to do this in five steps or less so if you do it in more than five steps you haven't solved the all the goals so you can go back and solve all the goals uh, so now we have this challenge here we actually get this sword so we will equip equip the sword and so we have the attack and now we want to attack the different org uh, ogres here so we have brack and teg and we want to attack them so we get some information here that you need to attack them t at least twice to actually uh, solve the issue and here we see that we have attacked brack twice and then we need to move right again and perhaps we can attack uh, Treg here. And here, my son actually had to try a couple of times to figure out both how to type this and how to use the editor in order to solve this problem. Uh, but now I have uh, attacked them both and I've solved this issue. So this is pretty much the game. Uh, later on, you will get four loops, you will get um while loops the first concept that you get is a for a, a while true loop uh, which is pretty interesting so you uh, get the information that you actually need to figure out how can i do this challenge that i need to move in a specific direction multiple times and not do it in as much code because there were an example where you had to move up uh, right up right up right up multiple times but you could only do it in four steps or less which required you to actually use the looping concepts and understand it if you didn't do that you didn't get full uh, points on that challenge 
So this is Code Combat. I hope that I have given you a little bit of an introduction to this one. I hope that you found this interesting. I hope that you learned something today. If you're interested in helping out, they are on GitHub. If you want to help your child or a friend to learn to program, you can use the site right off the bat. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do that. It helps out. If you like this video, give it a like, share it with your friends and colleagues. If you have any thoughts or comments or questions, leave them down in the comment section down below. And I really hope to see you in the next video.